Hey guys, welcome to my shop here in Minnesota. If you're not familiar, I'm Eric Ani, licensed master plumber in the state of Minnesota. I want to talk today about some really cool features on tankless water heaters. I want you to take a look at or consider if you're shopping for heaters. Okay. I talked to Noritz ahead of this video. I wanted, I was checking out their uh, site, noritz.com. I was looking at some of the features that they offer in their latest models, which I think are worth talking about. So that's why we're talking about Noritz today. You haven't seen me talk about them in the past. Pretty excited to show you a couple of really cool features. So I've got the EZ98 tankless on the wall right here. Okay. Dual stainless steel heat exchanger. Very basic uh, is in that it's easy to service. You can see it's pretty uh, well laid out with the circuit board and controls right in front so you're not digging around the side. Uh, gas valve and, and, and uh, inducer right up on the top there. Very cool stainless steel condensing uh, tankless right there, right? I think the features I think we should focus on though on this model are the top connections. Top connections can do a lot for uh, speeding up the install in the field, okay? If you're working in basements, especially like I do here in Minnesota, um, you've got water piping coming down from the ceiling, trusses, joist space, you name it. You've got an old existing tank you're replacing. It is somewhat cumbersome to hang a tankless unit on the wall, have to bring that piping over to the wall, down and below and re reconnect to the bottom of a tankless water heater. Top mount connections have the potential to save time. Uh, I think that's a pretty cool feature. If you're wondering, there is a drain built into the bottom here near the gas line connection. Uh, a couple other things that this offers is um, this 98 model and then the other sizes in its class are flexible venting connections. Flexible meaning literally and figuratively. Uh, figuratively meaning you can do direct vent like I've got it mocked up, two pipes and take an exhaust or you can do a single pipe, meaning just exhaust. It's got a, there is a uh, stainless steel screen on that inlet inside the, the cabinet. Uh, so you don't have to worry about leaving that pipe open if you're able to use room air. Uh, you can actually mount these things outside with a special kit. I don't get into that. Uh, I, I don't, I have no experience with outdoor plumbing because I live in a very cold climate in Minnesota. We don't do anything outside. But if you want more information on that, like I said already, check out Noritz.com. Uh, top mount connections, I think that's the highlight of that model, the EZ98. Now, let's move on because I think the EZ TR50, that's the what's next to me here in this tall box. Uh, it's actually the same model, tankless water heater, the EZ98. Inside this box is really huge box, okay? But, I, I kind of took some of this apart already to speed up this video. This actually comes with a, an additional kit, okay? So this box here comes inside that large box and inside this box is isolation valve kit. That's cool. Uh, that'll save time when you can go to the shop or your supplier, pick up just this, you know that you've got isolation valves in it. You've actually got a venting kit. So this is flexible polypropylene. This can be used to vent out an existing four inch double wall or B vent that was used for the old water heater. Okay, so if you've got a dedicated uh, B vent for the old water heater, this kit in this Easy TR50 box is gonna allow you to vent up to 25 feet up through the roof with this uh, using the old B vent as a chase way. The TR part of that model there means tank replacement. So this is pretty cool too, I thought was interesting. This is what really um, caught my eye uh, on some of the features that Noritz had on their website on their Texas water heaters was the tank replacement kind of verbiage. They're marketing this as a 50 gallon tank replacement. That's where that 50 is, okay? So they've got models that are 40, 50, and 75. Now other tankless water heater companies are not marketing it that way. They've got the same input ratings. This is 180,000 BTU input. It's got a 10 to one turndown ratio with 18,000 BTU uh, lower end on its modulation rate. This is the same tankless water heater in here. They're saying that that 180,000 BTU is good enough for a 50 gallon replacement. 
Now, if you've got cu customers that are just fine with a 50 gallon, you're already going to be improving the performance because you're using that tankless, uh, which is going to not run out of hot water. Uh, but you're going to be able to hit the demand of a typical household that is okay running on a 50 gallon. They've got that 40 and the 75 as well. So those are some pretty cool features. I thought the vent kit was worth showing. That's I, I want to thank Nortz for sending this stuff over so we could make this video so I could tell you about these. I hope it's educational for you. If you find this useful or if you think you know somebody that might find it useful, please share this video with them. Also hit like and subscribe. It helps other people find us and just so we can share more information and make the trades better again, right? So recap, top mount connections, I think are gonna save time. You've got the condensing stainless steel water heater. One thing I forgot to bring up is warranty. They have a 25 year warranty on that stainless steel heat exchanger. Different for parts and labor. Check out their website for that information. And then you've got the options of buying this model or its other sizes as the TR tank replacement kits. That's huge. I think it's worth taking a look at. I wanted to share that with you from my shop here in balmy Minnesota where the outdoor weather temperature, the outdoor temperature right now is a cool zero degrees with a negative 27 degree wind chill. That's something else. I do appreciate you watching. Thanks for listening to me goof around and talk about the weather in my video. Have a good one.